Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. A number of ready-made food producers and sellers were recently apprehended in Gyeonggi Province for illegal practices. The Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police announced that, during inspections of 360 related businesses from February 21st to March 4th, it uncovered 54 violators of the Food Hygiene Act and the Livestock Product Hygiene Management Act. Violations include storing frozen food ingredients 18 months past expiry dates and failure to perform inspections of fruit containers. Gyeonggi Province announced that its Digital Sex Crime Victim One-Stop Support Center provided support to a total of 367 individuals last year. The province also announced that, during one year of operation, the center handled more than 11,000 victim support cases. Managed by the Kyungi Women and Family Foundation under commission from the province, this center provides digital sex crime victims with comprehensive services, including the removal of illegal online materials, as well as the provision of psychological counseling and legal assistance. Kyungi Province's Experiential Public Safety Center will officially open in April after one month of trial operations in March. The first such facility in the province and the largest of its kind in Korea, this center features experiential halls and a virtual reality facility for children on safety in everyday life as well as traffic and outdoor activities. After its official opening, the center can be used by all Kyungi residents through reservations via its website. The Kyungi Agricultural Research and Extension Services has developed and introduced to market a pearl-shaped vinegar product. The Institute also succeeded in its patent application for these vinegar pearls, which have been under development since 2019. The Institute plans to apply this production technique to other condiments, such as soy sauce and wasabi, so as to lead in the creation of markets differentiated from those currently existing for domestic condiment products. On March 24th, the amendment of Kyungi Province's Pedestrian Environment Improvement Ordinance passed preliminary deliberation by the Construction and Transportation Committee during the 358th Extraordinary Session of the Kyungi Provincial Assembly. This amendment is aimed at supporting the province in the installation of traffic accident prevention devices, such as voice traffic signals, as well as in the improvement of pedestrian safety by reducing smartphone distraction. The final review and passage of this amendment is slated to take place at the Assembly's general meeting on March 31st. The Ordinance for Lifelong Education Support for Individuals with Borderline Intelligence passed preliminary deliberation by the Women, Family and Lifelong Education Committee during the 358th Extraordinary Session of the Kyungi Provincial Assembly. This ordinance is aimed at establishing a foundation for the systematic provision of lifelong education at each life stage for those with borderline intelligence who fall in provincial support blind spots. This ordinance pertains to the establishment of basic plans and related support centers for lifelong education for such individuals, as well as the formation of a cooperative system with local governments and related organizations. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.